Hey, everybody. Adam Savage in my cave with Matt Parker. Hello, sir. I'm so excited to be back. It is so good to it's see great. you. It has been four years since Matt's last visit, and something happened in that interim. I can't, I can't remember. remember what. Neither of us have aged but we, <laughs> <laughs> at all. <laughs> but we were working on some uh, polyhedra last time you were here. Yes. Uh, and that was, I still love that object. And in fact, I still have an unbuilt one for myself. Wow. Up there. I actually had it laser cut out of the correct acrylic, which is a, yep. a you know, semi-reflective. I still haven't gotten around to it. One day. Today, we're going to make another polyhedra and I'm prepared to make two so that we both end up with one at the end of the day. Excellent. Um, do you want to talk about what you so, wanted to achieve? <laughs> we did a rhombic dodecahedron last time, uh -huh. which is a lot of fun. My favorite of all the dodecahedra. Uh, but it was just a single shape. And there's a whole class of shapes which are compound shapes, which is what happened when you like interlock a bunch of shapes together. Because the polyhedra have these really interesting relationships with each other in that there are symmetries Absolutely. between and you can exploit those to understand how their structures work. Yes, yeah, so I have always wanted to make a shape called, it's the five intersecting tetrahedra. You get five, like uh, your classic 3D version of a triangle. Right. So six edges forming like a triangular-based pyramid. You can lock five of them together and there's only five, because there are five regular 3D polyhedra. Right. There are only five and they're different regular compound polyhedra. And this is one of them. Does that mean there's, wait, five? Compound polyhedra would describe yep. a set of polyhedra that have symmetry to a larger polyhedra? Is that that if you, so a shape is regular. Yeah. If by looking at it, you can't distinguish any of the corners or edges from each other without using like, color or this one's dented. Uh, that means you can like rotate yeah. it through its own yeah. vertices so and it will constantly line up. If with you itself. look away and I move it and you look back, you'll have no idea. Right. Or if you're like, that's my favorite vertex and you look away, you'll never be able to find it again. Because <laughs> they're all indistinguishable. Got it. This is the same thing, but you can't distinguish between any one vertex of any of the shapes combined. It's all, the geometry will not help you orientate yourself whatsoever. And there's only five ways to pile up the shape such that that happens. Okay. And one of them is getting five tetrahedra and arranging them all together. You're kind once of sewing they're, them once together. they're done, every corner of every shape is indistinguishable. Amazing. But it's so so the <laughs> symmetry and the patterns and the alignments are beautiful but frustrating. Right? Well, frustrating so here's the thing is we had this phone call about 3 weeks ago. Yep. We had a Zoom call and you said I wanted to do this and I was like that's great. I'd love I worked for a toy company. We made Zoobs, which oh, are yeah. ball and socket joints with different angles. And so when I was working there in their R&D, running their R&D, I got super obsessed with the platonic and Aristotelian polyhedra. Yep. Uh, at Aristotelian? No. Archimedean. Archimedean, thank you. Um, and I was like, definitely, I'm going to start thinking about these vertices, right? How to, how to engineer the vertices, which is non-trivial. No often inc needing incredible precision because the introduced errors are diabolical. Uh, and so I sort of put that in my head and about five days ago, I was like, okay, Matt's coming. Let me re-intersect <laughs> with this. And I was like, the five tetrahedra, which is like a boy band, right? From yeah, yeah, some yeah. math school. And the first image comes up and I'm like, that's not what, what? we talked about. That's way too complicated. I can't even see that. That's got to be something else. And I keep, and, and then of course, over the next 10 minutes, yeah. I'm like, I, I layer it back in and I realize, okay, this is, Parsable, but what's amazing about the five tetrahedra is they also have these sub arrangements. Like people have done them in increasing levels of complexity, which yes. we will not explore no, today. No, no, but no, 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 no. it's spectacularly. Oh, neat. it's phenomenal what you can do. Um, I'm just glad I was able to lull you into a false sense of plausibility. <laughs> <laughs> so, in like in the call, I'm like showing you the decahedra, and oh, it's easy. You, you you link some things together, and it all works. But th the thing is, is that when you start to build these polyhedra and you start to actually wrap your mind around their vertices and their struts and everything. It's a beautiful feeling when someone explains, oh, the cube and this have symmetry, and then you can actually really feel it and experience it. And what I love about building them is you're both appreciating the math and the geometry and the patterns and the logic, but you're also functionally having to use that to build it. Yes. Because even before, we're like, well, hang on, there are how many corners? And then you can you can deduce the number of edges, and we're like, oh, we keep forgetting there's 60 edges, right? And it's this is the thing in 
and we still haven't shown the object, I'm sorry. Oh, we'll no. get to it in just a second. In special effects, compound numbers of things are your worst enemy. Yeah. So I, we were working on a job where we had a ball with 105 detents in it. And the client, the client was like, I need that transition edge to be rounder. And that, like, we lost three days doing that Rounding operation. everything, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, times yeah. 105, with the person getting it right. <laughs> One of my all-time most useful skills in life is to do things a few times and then multiply it up. Yes. And that saved me so <laughs> much pain and suffering so many times. Better say, no, <laughs> I don't want to do this for a week. <laughs> no. Okay, so let's. Uh, speaking of pain and suffering, let's see our do object. Wanna, so I've brought with me an origami version of this. So uh, my friend Alice made this. I cannot take any credit. So here. Oh my God. So the, I looked at some tutorials about how to make these origamis. Me too. And I did not make it. <laughs> it's a lot I was like, work. Alice, <laughs> I need some origami done. Uh, so uh, this is it. And so this is as I packed it to bring it over so mm. it wouldn't get damaged. And there it is. So mm. that's. And Alice has used different colors. Yep. Which makes it handy to be able to spot which is which. And there, there are guides to this. It's like, it's a really nice bit of origami. So if you go online, you can find instructions to build this. And they aren't diabolically difficult. It is literally, it is a, it's tedious. It's tedious. But yes. it's absolutely it's, it's achievable. Doable. And what's very clever about this is it solves one of the major issues with building the five intersecting tetrahedra, which is they don't, naturally hold themselves in the neat arrangement. And so this, the thickness of the fold, yes. so like the fact that this is physical reality and there's some thickness, perfectly holds them like rigid where they need to be. The one time I tried to build this previously was at a festival with yeah. very long sticks and unskilled <laughs> labor. <laughs> oh no! Which, I love working with volunteers, but there's a bunch of us with these two, just over two long meter long sticks. sticks. And then we wide LED, tried to white LEDs to them, and we oh, it was absolute chaos. But even once we got it together, it all just kind of slumped. <laughs> into yeah, like, of course, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like a kind of a UFO looking thing. So I was like, that has not scratched my itch to build myself a big one of these, where you can kind of see where all five of them are. Well, I came across one that somebody had executed once. And it was of such complexity that what they had done is each of the four sides of each tetrahedra was itself four separate triangles. Oh, why would you do and that? each of those <laughs> intersected the others on a. Yep, and yep, they yep. called it strut weaving or struts? Oh. Strut weaving. They literally described this one they built as a new term they invented called strut weaving, where they're mathematically. Yes. Because this is just the frame. Yeah. So we're just building the frames that. Uh, tetrahedra, technically, you should have, these should be solids. And right. this has actually got a density greater than one because you're double dipping a lot of the volume, right? Because it's inside multiple Oh, right, yes, 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 yeah. they're, they're sharing. So, so technically, they should be solids and they should all be like, you know, robustly uh, interlinked. But I think the frame means you can see the pattern's a lot better, you can understand the structure. And, and it, to be clear, when we say this has symmetry with a dodecahedron, what we mean is that each of the vertices of each of these five triangles is yeah. also the vertice of a dodecahedron that encapsulates this. Yeah, that's like the one saving grace of this shape. <laughs> <laughs> if you join together all the corners, it's just a dodecahedron. So like the, the total, you know, uh, the, the if you were to put a bounding shape around it, yeah. it would be a regular dodecahedron. My second favorite of all the dodecahedron. So I spent so much time sort of just staring at this, thinking, how can we execute this in one day here in the cave? Um, I thought about hard restore aluminum angle. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then I Very thought about this, yeah. I thought about casting 60 of these <laughs> <laughs> vertices. And then I thought, well, I'd have to cast them with a hole already in them, and I could make a hole punch to do the struts. And then I'm just, again, each of these is times x, times x, times x. <clears throat> And then I remembered that I had recently obtained a whole bunch of model making materials. Uh, and sorry, I'm getting one step ahead of myself. Yeah. I also wanted color to be important. Right? Yes. You can't really see this until the tetrahedra are all different colors. Absolutely. Which means we'd either be painting and waiting for paint <laughs> to dry, which is its That's, own nightmare. Yeah. And then I came up with, um, here, hold that. Thank you. <clears throat> I obtained some architectural modeling stuff, including some brightly colored tubing. No one makes this stuff anymore. And I have this it in like six or seven colors. It's like a giant 
straw or something. Yeah, That's and it's so this vivid. styrene tubing. And recently I realized I did not have enough elastic cord. And so I bought, because I'm nuts <laughs> and I want a hardware store, I bought this Amazing. like three months ago. So, so everything you we needed was here. Past you was like, I'm going to need this. So happy about uh, this. The give in that. Is, we're going to really appreciate that. Well, so here's the thing I want to say is we can build this like this, and then once we've got this, we could potentially even draw the tetra, the dodecahedron yes. around it using another color. I think we might need to. I think these are going to be too skinny. Well, at this size to hold them in position like that. Well, yeah. we can make this any. We can make these any size we want, and I'd love to scale them down because I can feel that there's an object using this tubing that's maybe about this big that you can really manhandle. Yeah, then, that would, it'd be like a, a bit of squish to it. Yeah, yeah. But so it I'm, would kind of. I'm thinking of bringing this strut down to like six <sighs> inches. Yeah, Do we you wanna, could you even. you want to spend some time can, <laughs> thinking about the thickness <laughs> of this strut? Oh, we can, Actually, we can. no, no, no. It's actually, if all we, we can do. We can cheat and just measure that. Yeah, that's it. If in doubt, measure someone else's hard work. Yes, yes, yes. So if we just literally take this and we translate, that relationship to the size of the yeah. tetrahedra and then extrapolate and then, and then that then thickness this out of it. increase by some small fraction. Oh, that so we have a little get, wiggle yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great. So, uh, let me bring these out. I mean, just, I went and found all the correct struts. Just Ooh. eyeballing it, I'd say that's on the order of a third. So I think this will be three times bigger than. Which is just guessing. It's, you're right. It's going to be like a, a great kind of see dog, someone dog toy size. <laughs> yeah. All the ways I thought about doing this that included incredible precision and rigidity yeah. made it by definition a delicate article, and I I don't like that. I want it to be someone to be able to handle. Yeah, because if you made it this scale, which I love, yeah, you would need a support. Dodecahedron yeah. around it to hold it in place. Well, we could we could also let, do let, three. Well, hey, let's let's <laughs> let's try theory one. Okay, <laughs> let's try theory one. And we have look at um, all these. Isn't this what beautiful? were these made for? Is it this is uh, specifically, I believe, these were made for when you were designing like oil refineries back in the mid century. You would actually route the tubing. Physically in the model, in the model, so that your engineers you know. would know where this all tube goes, fit. and you color coded them so you knew which was what. Wow! So there's actually for engineering models. Yeah, it's a it's an entire system for model engineering. That's great. Specifically, I believe, sort of piping feel, and refinery work. I feel honored. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you, this stuff you is. Use this. You can actually. You can smell the. I think the polyurea coming oh, off wow. this, like a, these old off gassing. Yeah, I know. It smells like some That's animal urinated we'll on me. We'll have a shape that off-gasses. <laughs> when I worked for Zub, and that's that's a polyhedra I built out of Zub, by the oh, way. Oh, wow. Uh, when I worked for Zub, this is a cuboctahedron. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, or a slightly stellated, truncated cuboctahedron. You, well, you got these, yeah, these little... Yeah. Uh, when I worked for them, we spent, to choose the original five primary colors of Zub, we spent months and months and months, meeting after meeting after meeting after meeting. We finally settled on them after all sorts of argument. Turns out to be the five colors of peanut M&Ms. Oh, really? Exactly, exactly. The convergent when, evolution. When you want five primary colors yeah. to work with each other, you're getting Legos and M&Ms. They're all yep. the same. <laughs> okay, so let's do the colors. Let's, let's do the let's, colors let's, and let's leave commit, the brown out. Commit to color. We'll do the dodecahedron on the outside, either in white or black, whatever we can yep, whatever. make work. Okay. Um, do you want to do a little maths on what well, yeah, strut we've got here? Let's measure up. Where'd your calipers go? There's the calipers. I'm going to get some scratch paper. Oh, it's in thousands of an inch. <laughs> 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 that seems... Yeah. Yeah. So if that's a quarter of an inch, so the, the relationship is one quarter of an inch to... The basically quarter inch sections. To two point to two point five. Two point five inches. Two point five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. this is gonna be great. It's gonna be um ten to one. Is that oh my god, point two five to yeah. How lovely. So so, so <laughs> what are these? Ten to one. That's gonna make these very small. Yeah. So that's point five, it's five inches long. Does that feel well what's five inches? That's like five inches? Yeah. Uh, here's five inches. 
That does feel small, doesn't it? But that's... Two of them. Actually, I feel like... Okay, so f we're thinking that five inches would get us to this tight arrangement yep. where they were really... But if we went to, let's say, seven inches, yep. then we know there's some sponginess. And if we draw the dodecahedron around that, that eliminates mm, that sponginess, that will, but allows yeah. you to actually see how you, this thing moves. Let's like do that, yeah, yeah. And I feel more comfortable doing that. We don't do a bunch of five inch segments. Doesn't work. Right. <laughs> we just burn through the, the remaining yes. world supply yeah. of this stuff. And then we'll need to figure out how much shock cord is. So this is an assembly line procedure. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna make a little jig for cutting these at exactly seven inches. Perfect. And I'll just start on that. Um, we need, it's six pieces per tetrahedron. So we'll need 12 pieces of each. Yep. Um, okay, let me make a measurement and head to the bandsaw. To the bandsaw! And they're just magnets. Yeah. And this is, I guess this just lowers the magnet into. Yeah. So held up against that. And then we'll leave this and we'll make the other one out of these. And that's seven inches. Perfect. Dude, very exciting. All right, let's bring over the others. Thank you, sir. I'll take these all away. Your bandsaw now has the workshop a version of confetti. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, inedible sprinkles everywhere. Exactly. <laughs> we are currently taking care of two sets of burrs. There's an inner burr, and I'm taking care of that using this countersink bit. And again, when you're working with thermoplastics, your tool speed has to be below the speed that would reach the melting point of the plastic, which is frequently non-trivial. So this is already a function of my commercial experience, is knowing I can deburr these all, I can deburr them one at a time, or I can hold them, and I can deburr them gang deburring. That's what we call this. You're just peeling off a layer, trusting that the belt sander will get rid of the outside burr. Now I've got a special move to show you. Here we go, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, and six. And then watch this. Ha! Ha ha, did you see that? Let's try it again. This is like a, it's like a juggling routine. Oh, and they're already done on that side, cool. All right, sir. All right, what needs outside doing? Uh, that. Done. Good. And I'll take the other reds from you. They're done, done, I believe. Excellent. I will put those over there. Actually, you know what? Uh, stop on the long reds. Right. Because there's slight vagaries in the overall lengths of these. I'm oh, gonna really? need to post cut all the long ones oh, to size. Oh, would, would they? Yeah. Did they start uneven, or is that a they did accumulation so like of air? These cutting. vagaries are okay. I feel like, yeah, but, but those are gonna, gonna harm us. So we can just level them all off. That's what I'm gonna yeah, make yeah, sure they're all the same let's size. Decommission that. Oh, zip ties. Is there nothing you can't do? That difference, that difference, could end up causing us some real difficulties later. So I'm gonna bring these all to the exact same length uh, on the bandsaw and then we'll do a re-deburr. Re-deburr, yeah.
Should we do one without cutting it? Yeah, let's do one without <laughs> cutting then, it. And then measure and it. Then and then we're, we, yeah, 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 totally. Okay, so what I found the operation so you've got a system here. was, this is, this is kind of interesting. One, two. You should better do five. Yeah, you gotta do five. And then you're and out. So here's <laughs> what we, we have this. Yep. And so what I wanna do is, I do this and then I come back, back through this through one. one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do one more here. So we have to do seven lengths of seven inches. So 49, which is just over four foot of cord, <laughs> excluding corners. Uh, right, and then this one comes back through here. Wait, did I get this wrong? No, you're good. No, nope, yeah. I did get it wrong. It goes. How did I do this? <laughs> Hold on, let me get the I believe chair. in you. I'm trying to do it while yeah, get standing on the side. I'll look over you if that helps. I think what you're gonna have to do, this one here has to be a vertical. Right, okay. I'm vertical in the looser sense. Ah, uh, right, so that this one comes. But then run it over. So there's two that it goes through. So if you wanna get right back to where you started, Yes, there are two struts that get two passes. Well, okay, that's yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking there was one strut that got two passes. That'd be pretty special. Um, okay, so yeah, so you can do <laughs> we got to work out this protocol <laughs> here <laughs> while we wrap our brains around yeah. it. Uh, it goes. So sorry, it wants it. They it wants to be. It seems so straightforward. This is a one human job, so I'm just going to watch. <laughs> <laughs> that helps, right? Yes. <laughs> All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four, and then I feed three back through the top of one. But you want to end up back here. Yep, I will. Oh. I will. Oh, here's me with no faith. Oh, so we got to... <laughs> I'm gonna start doing this on the other end of the cord. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Look at so this. there we go. Behold. And that's how much we need. And I figured that's plenty, that's great, that's right? Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's our size. And the question is, how long is that? You must teach me your way of it. Oh, we're just gonna have to figure this out again. Okay. And <laughs> it's literally exactly Basically, what I thought yeah. it was. Yeah, it's exactly, exactly right. Feet. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we'll just have one of these. You know, we, can we do could do yellow, yellow and yellow. yellow. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we had the same thought. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna start cutting these. I'll start. Let me see if I can recreate what we're now calling the savage method. Okay, we get seven out of this, not eight. Oh wait, 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 wait. Two, four, six. Yeah, we get seven, not eight. So. So, oh, so it might not be enough just to have it separate at one location? I think that, I yeah, I, I, exactly <clears throat> that. I think what we might even want to do, and you probably don't want to hear it, potentially because one way of doing it would be to, to start, tape, tape or something, or you kind of got to hold them and then thread them. So we can't just build five and then We can't just build start, five and oh, start matching really? them Really? We can't? Yeah, no. Okay. Because if you look at this, okay. you look at how, you know, we kind of got the yellow one there now. Well, then let me take the. Uh, what you'd almost this. want to do is go. Well, this blue one is there, so that's fine. But then, right, that I'm going to get myself to this location. Has to go there. Oh, wait, while you're thinking about this. Now, here's something. Yeah. <laughs> that is an opportunity, not a crisis. Mm -hmm. um, this has the handedness, chirality. Yeah. We're building two. Oh, we can we do both do chiralities. Yes. yes. Let's yes. totally do yeah. that. Uh, are you a so, lefty or a righty? I'm right. I am also right. Uh, so. <laughs> but one, one's going to match this exactly. Yeah. And, and one's going to be the mirror image. I which love is it. either we get a wee mirror and put it next to this, and then one of us looks at the real thing and one looks at the reflection. Um, or you've, one of us has to mentally flip it as we're. You have to mentally flip it. Deal, deal. <laughs> I feel fine, like you have fine. the more plastic okay, brain fine, fine, for fine, this fine, kind fine. of operation. You're on. <laughs> And that'll give you your center beam. Like ah, oh, lovely. Yeah. Okay, now I see. And then this one comes back through. And then that's got to go to get back, to here, yeah. mm -hmm. and then you link the last two together. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, that is nice and straightforward.
Okay. So now we have this malarkey. So I guess we could lock the first one, right? The first one can be locked. Okay, so let's get it Oh, nice I didn't even do yellow in this one. No. Yeah, I think you should. Yep, yeah, no, 100%. Uh, we're gonna that end up with three fault. yellows, not... Sadly, we're gonna end up with one Oof, extra color with one yellow. We can do that with orange. Unless you want to, um... Oh yeah, there's no way to do... Okay, so I'm doing something interesting here. I'm yep. doing a fisherman's knot, but I also I'm going to come around here and do it over. How do I say this? I'll I'm doing kind fisherman's of knot between together. these two sides. Yeah, and then I'm bringing one leg of it over the remaining Got piece it. so that I can actually get them all in the same plane. Oh, nice! And you can we can bury the knots. Oh, they pop right in inside. So let me get yeah, let me get this guy here. We're just gonna. So when you got here, you're doing a classic. I did actually a, a third, a second twist over, which is like a fisherman's oh, knot, and okay. they're more self cinching. So you right. do that, and then you really bring it in, and then I brought it up Under, over that over. one and yeah. did a and did, did the other another way. double simple overhand double, and then one more Imagine. overhand, and you should be great. Sure, did you do that? I love that. <laughs> and then did you just lose the surplus? Yeah, I, I use this to jam it in there. Okay. Oh, actually, I cut the tails. Oh, okay. Yeah, I cut the tails off. Yeah, we've got this beautiful... Got this beautiful little yeah, guy Yeah, perfect. Here. I think we need to use that box. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Done. So all I gotta do is look at that. Uh, here, you wanna do it? Do you it? wanna camera yeah, it up? Yeah, do it that yeah. way. <laughs> perfect. Three... Four. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so oh. dumb. Wow. Oh my God, this is a brain bun. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, I can't. Don't know if it gets easier or harder the longer. No, I, I'm. I'm already assuming that it's going to get way harder. Uh, I feel like what I need to do is assemble the star. What is happening here is this is, these five tetrahedra, of which this is one, are interlinked and they are interlinked in a regular way, but we can't just build five and then interlink them. We have to build each one actually slightly differently than each of its predecessors because of the way we're sewing this through. And because we're only passing the shark cord through two tubes, it would actually be a lot easier if we were allowing ourselves to sew it through more than two tubes. But because we've asked ourselves for the regularity, it means we kind of have to wrap our heads each time around a different construction method for each of these five tetrahedrons, if that's correct. So it's like I, Matt and I are both trying to um, hold complex topologies <laughs> in our head while working with a complex topography. Does that make sense? That makes sense. <laughs> I think, Matt, I think I got it. Uh, so here's what yeah. I end, here's what I ended up with. I did the diamond through, yep. and then I come around here, and now I'm I'm on my way. You're on your way to that being around. That's yes. really clever. Uh, and this one chirality doesn't matter for this one because uh, these intersect. You'll see when I finish okay, yep, this yep, 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 yep. one. Chirality doesn't oh, matter yet. Oh, because the first yet. ones, the first ones. Are yes, pretty. the first two. It's the, how the third one enters that detects that. I, I think detects the chirality. All right. Uh, so, one, it goes through that side and that side. It's on there, and they all go through. Don't 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 don't. don't. All right. Yeah, well, I think this first one's like totally symmetric. My Feet. brain hurts. This okay, okay. I've convinced myself yep. I've had a great idea. I got it. Yes. The 
Yep. Yep, it goes through this one. Okay. Both over there. Yeah, there we go. We mixed them up a little bit. Okay, so then these two go through. Yep. And this come through here. Ah, but I'm already back where I started. Ah, <laughs> that's. Okay, so. I just realized what you realized a moment ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I've lost one. Ah, I've lost a tail. I've lost two tails. I think we may have accidentally found a way to do this, which is harder than the <laughs> army. All right, so wait, wait, wait. If. Ah, I did it. Oh my god. Running low. One, two. I'm going to that one. Nope, I didn't get it right. That's not correct. Yes! I want that to oh, be Oh, you're going to love this, Matt! Uh-huh. This allows us to hold oh, stop on to it them. from coming out the other. Yes. That's very clever. So, oh, that was my issue, that I had to thread this. Yes, it's only Where's one struck goes through one Come triangle on. at a time. Got it. I feel like if I just shake this for a while, it's going to be perfect. I, I, I'm starting from scratch. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's, that's the end goal, right? That's... That uh, is, you got it, right? Did you get it? Yes, yes, you did. That's the I first made one. it look easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to gently tie this off. And I'm going to try and arrange it to look like the mirror image. Ah, oh, I see. Before I cross that, I have to cross it through something. So the, it's the, about the fact that the diamond cross... Yeah, it has to already go through something. You don't get the diamond yeah. for free. Yeah, no, you have to literally just pass the diamond cross through one of the struts. Let me try that as a way of thinking about this. Okay, that's the temp knot. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna hate this a minute. <laughs> you, such, this was your suggestion. Such a bad idea. <laughs> okay, so then this one. You almost need like a bean bag or something that it just holds in any, it's gravity is the problem. Yes, gravity is exactly the problem. Because um, if I could just leave that there, and walk away and come back, I'd be very happy. Oh, 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 I think I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. I did, I did. You did good. I did figure it out. Okay, so that's how blue and yellow work together. And I'm looking at blue sticking through. And then you zigzag so I'm back and do that. that okay, face. Right, right, right. Okay. So what's the next one you're doing here? Oh, I guess it doesn't really. So I'm trying to do green. Right. And this is where we're going to diverge yeah. with our chiralities. Um, yeah. Okay, let me try the, the new method here. Here, take some of that uh, and use some small yes. pieces. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, I want two of those. And if these sit like this, Green comes across the yellow face. Oh, no, and it captures this, it goes past that blue strut. Right. So that's that green strut. And then this green strut goes also across the yellow. Uh, oh, I'm gonna bring over another tool that we can use. Just pull stuff through. Yeah. Okay, oh, what have I done? so the other green, where do the other links? This green 
goes through this green, goes inside both the yellow. I'm investing yep, I had something wrong. Okay, I got to undo this and restart. I had the wrong orientation for the uh, yellow and blue. That'll happen. Oh, it's very position dependent. Okay. <laughs> Now we're getting somewhere. This is are we really? <laughs> we are, are not. We? we are not. We are. <laughs> no, we're not. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, that's now exactly I'm where I'm going to... back to. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I know which one put I right. that, well, that... Here, put it back. Fuck, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's where I was at. Okay, let me have a look what's in here. Uh, I'm so sorry. No. Uh, do you mind if I try and nope, reposition you do this? It. You do it. Because somewhere here. Oh, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to do it where. It, yes. Okay. Where is that one? Okay. Wow, I've I really messed got... up by touching that. <laughs> as long, the trick is as long as we're consistent. It is, it's the, the one that it is, is the green that sticks through the yellow face. That's where I've been working from. Um, oh no, it's the blue that sticks through the yellow face. That's, that's where I started. Okay, yep, 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 yep. So oh, that's good, yeah, that's it. Yellow face, blue sticks through. Okay, yes. And then what I, I had I, wrong was what, it's, what the angle of orientation was. Yes, I, I'm just going to completely convince myself. Oh, you know what? Yeah, 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 okay, okay. I've, I, I'm having a hard time <laughs> believing that chirality matters here, but I feel like it, it might. Okay. On that, I feel like, I think you were right that there's no wrong way of doing this because it's symmetric. That's what I think, except that I'm having trouble finding. I got, I got lost, I was lost in the woods for a long time unable to pop it back into the okay, correct so arrangement. Let's see here. I'm going to do this. Ah, okay. So I'm going to hold to this orientation with a yellow one on the ground. And now I see where I'm at. There we go. Now I understand. Okay, so I'm going to do like you. I'm going to tape this down. Okay. Now, this one comes down outside of yellow. No, inside of yellow, inside of... Inside of yellow, inside of blue. Oh, I think I have all six struts already. I think I'm overthinking it. I think that's your strut. That back one stays outside the yellow. It goes through the blue. You think we should number these? Go from there. I mean, <laughs> my solution to most life, my solution to most problems in life is to number them. Yep. So it is clear that, I'm gonna do a rough assembly here. We do one, two. And what's amazing is once we got the green, you got I'm the not, green. I'm not coming back. <laughs> I'm staying all the way over here. Well, I think I I you've I done the easy half. I haven't. <laughs> We're over halfway. <laughs> this is over halfway. It's uh, maybe not even halfway. Uh, so four, four singles, right? Yep. Four singles. Oh yeah, I had to do one with the orange just to remember the technique. Yeah, that's exactly what I I'm doing. I can draw you the diagram I'm using in my head. Oh no, it's five singles. Here's what I was doing. I do, th these are my pipes. So you got the diamond? Yeah. Yep. And so you start, this is, this is position number one. Yep. So first of all, I do a lap yep. like that. And then I zigzag back up to the other end. So you do a lap all the way around. Yeah. And then I go back through back one through of them. the first one. Yep. Then okay. I do the mid beam. And then back up through another one to zigzag to the far end. Uh, yep. And then that goes into here. And then you continue zigging up to the far end. Oh, right. Gotcha. And then you got the one beam to get you back to where you started. Okay, so it is one, two, three, four, back through one, through five, back through three from the yep. wrong end. Yep. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, back 
through wrong end of color. three, add five, meet up with one. All right, I'm gonna get there, I promise. I, I can feel, I just did this, and I can feel it all sort of wanting to it's come happy into. With that. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful physicalization of correct maths, right? <laughs> yes, isn't it nice when, I mean, math is all about the- The quantification well, of that feeling. <laughs> yeah, it's like the unrealistic expectation that beauty equals truth. <laughs> It's really like each time I get it right, I can tell. All right, this is the last one. Over the blue. Come on. Come on. Okay, sewing. No. I'm sewing the no. last one. <laughs> right. And then, oh. <laughs> we used to be friends, Adam. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There, it's back, it's back. I got it back. Okay. Then. Okay, okay. Back through five is the double. What I might do then is just bring. You can you can this put it wherever you'd like. Over here. All right, we can spray glue it down if you'd like. Uh, just to really explain what's happening here is, I have built my version of these five tetrahedra exactly to this model, which means if you look at the yellow triangle here and you map it to this and you see the blue is peeking through, you'll see that all of the overlaps are happening in the same direction on my model as this one. Matt, however, is pulling a Ginger Rogers and dancing backwards. He is doing so all of that in the opposite direction. These are chiral. They are like your left and right hands. Um, you can turn this and it doesn't become this. That's what chiral means. Uh, it's an exact reverse image. So I'm finished first, but that's only because Matt's job is twice as hard as mine. It's because I can't look at the real thing. I can only look at the... But it's so pleasing making the mirror image by looking at the mirror image. It's so nice. I think I've got it though. So do you remember how we started this by saying that the five tetrahedra are, uh, 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 have symmetry to a dodecahedron? We're about to demonstrate that physically by adding a white strut between every one of the vertices of the five polyhedra. There are 20, which means we will end up when we do that with a dodecahedron that sits on the outside of this. It's a Mm, such a great way to show the symmetry. That's what all this white tubing will be for. And then we'll be done. Look at, you know, it just says I'm correct. Yeah, yeah. And like it just feels, and if we line up. Yeah, if we line up, oh, so now, fine, now we're, we'll find where blue pops through one yellow face. The blue point pops yeah, through the yellow over here, face. This one. That's, yeah, there. Okay, so I yeah. have that and you have that and my, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look yeah, at that. We did. Mirror, they're mirror images. <laughs> they are. Oh my gosh, you can That's totally see it. So great. <laughs> I know uh. I it, look, it might be a little there's going to be an easier reveal for the audience later <laughs> when we have the dodecahedron. Yeah, on yeah, 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 look at that. And this it's impossible to rearrange this to get that. Right. The mirror images are distinct. Okay, so now we want to instead of just having people visualize the dodecahedron yep on these vertices to actually build it. Um, and I've got this okay. slightly thinner white tube. Right. And I feel like we've talked about white and black, but I feel like white is gonna be a much clearer 
kind of yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be good, good contrast. Because we could do it just with chord or something, but then it wouldn't be structural. Yeah. It would still be kind of relying on this sitting nicely. And you can see there is some slump on it, like it's not... Yeah, it does... It's not it, perfect, but it's close. Well, so then also... My question is, right, we need the length if we're going to do this. Yes. And I figure, what well, you know, we're just going through, not trying to be efficient about the cording, just sort of sewing it on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, um, we've, in um, fact, we could almost do it with normal shoot cord rather than... So without the, any elastic in it. Oof, that's bold. <laughs> bold at this, <laughs> at this juncture. Well, so, first up is the math. Oh, yes. What we... We're imagining, we're kind of doing this in the reverse to what you do mathematically, because you'd originally start with a dodecahedron, and then there were only, there's only a handful of different possible diagonals within a dodecahedron, right. one of which is the one we've got here. Yes. And the length of this diagonal, which we've set to seven inches, compared to the dodecahedron, is if you take this and you multiply it by the square root of two, and then you multiply it by the golden ratio. The golden ratio! It's so dumb. <laughs> It makes me angry. <laughs> I love that it arrived. It's so, uh, you can't. But the moment you got pentagons, you're gonna have the golden ratio. Uh, right, right, right. When of I course. say the golden ratio, it's a variation on the square root of five. So basically it's the square root of five and some stuff to make it the golden ratio times the square root of two. And then that's your multiplier from that distance, if it was perfect, right. to, to that diagonal. Going across there. Okay. As opposed to here, yeah. where it's yeah. just golden ratio. So that's oh, that's nice. From that there to there's that... golden ratio, and from there, and from there to there is root two. Amazing. So it's golden ratio root two to get. Okay, done. I'm gonna get out calipers and do a nice precise measurement on this. Yes, wh wherever the... we ended up. Yeah. Um, let me bring a caliper around. Really? Yes, yeah, seven, seven, seven on the nose? And twenty-five thousandths. Uh, or just over I half, like the fact half you a million. You measured one and you're like, that's the answer I wanted. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> measuring anything else. <laughs> I do a lot of that. <laughs> oh, even closer to seven inches. But so I'm seven inches is it. Absolutely, we nailed that. So. Well, we'll just uh, <laughs> divide it. Seven divided by the square root of two times the golden ratio. So, what, like what's, what's root, I have a curta here what's, if you'd like wow, to. Wow, let's do it by hand. So what's, hang on, what, what's root two is about 1.41, and the golden ratio is about 1.62. Ah, we'll do it with okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted by your offer of a curta. I'm not, <laughs> not going to lie. So I've just done the golden ratio from first principles. Yep. So it's square root of five plus one divided by two. 1.618. I'm going to multiply that by square root of 2. And that gives me 2.282. Um, but we, we're starting from the big one. So we can either divide by 2.2882. So actually, I, I regret putting that's our actual, it's 7 on 2.2882, which uh, let me just do that properly. I would put two? that at, yeah, close, 3.059. <laughs> okay. So, do you need, what, what do you, what uh, fractions of an inch do you work to? Yeah, Yeah, 3.05. 3.06. Yeah, there we are. That's now. It. That's our length. The, uh, the oh, yeah, that thing, looks totally right. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is that's not strictly 100% accurate because the actual oh, vertex right. to vertex dimension is off a tad. So, and in fact, we because of the plasticity of this, yeah, we could make that. Let's say we could make it a flat three. Yeah, we could make it a flat three, or we could make it like three point two, uh, and give and, everything and a little bit of a stretch. Hold this and yeah. Uh, but I'm inclined to I like I like the round roundness of this. Well, the three to sevenness is very kind of pleasing. What's that? A, a, a three to seven ratio is getting that by accident is quite pleasing. But yeah, I don't know. You, we we could do an estimate of what the the 
pure corner distance would be from the end of the tube. I kind of want to make it a tiny bit longer because I definitely don't want to end up where it's struggling to complete itself around this yeah. perimeter. It's currently going to be a tiny bit longer anyway because we haven't scaled that distance. Right, we've been scaling as if these are points, yep, yep, right? Yeah. So And so three and point for the short for the shorter one, those make up a bigger proportion of it and we've not scaled them down. Yeah. So effectively this is going to be slightly longer than we need. This will? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because we didn't scale down the overshoots. Right, right, well. right. Yeah. Um, when I increase the size to 3.2, I get what looks like something that will hold this. If you like move this around, yep. it will hold this in, in kind of a... And then run down to oh, like we can one do, of the you know, We could do five well, like Should this we do 3.2? Yeah. I feel like, It'll be like that. any one five will, the rest of it will contort to fit it. It's yeah. like carpeting a room without exactly. that carpet. You but won't can... know until you get. So we, we, if we start doing it and it's just the wrong size, we'll get to the last one and it will either be like unexpectedly massive or tiny depending and on. And tiny is much worse than massive. Tiny is worse than massive. So let's try for 3.2 and see okay. how we go. Okay, yeah. How many of these do I need per? Well, you get, well it's a dodecahedron, it? so you're gonna need 20. 20, that's it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to... 30. 30. 30. <laughs> 20 vertices, 30 edges. All right. Like everything in life, I just quickly double-checked myself afterwards. Because <laughs> math is not about memorizing, it's about working it out. So, there should be 60 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 35. I have grabbed uh, 6, I've grabbed 18 feet of cord. I have, based on nothing. All right, I, 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 Matt, I, I think what? I'm attaching my no, last. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not um. like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm coming through. Yours looks so much neater. I've been tensioning as I go at a high level yeah, of tension. <laughs> Not enough tension. Um, All right, I want to, yeah, I think I'm going to. I used 30% too much cord. I could have done this all with 12 feet, not 18 feet. So let's uh, come up through here. Come up through here. Yeah. But again, they're gonna need a little bit of finessing. That's, look at that as an object though. Very lovely. I might have put too much tension into mine, but... So you know how I said the middle of this is an icosahedron? Yeah. And the outside is a dodecahedron? Yeah. If you were to combine both of these together to make the 10 intersecting um, tetrahedra, the inside shape is still exactly the same icosahedron. Really? Because it doesn't have any chirality, so it, it doesn't care that it's, that it's been flipped. It's oh, still wow. exactly the same shape. So when you intersect these, you don't change the central void. When you intersect these? Yeah, so if you mushed them together, if reality wasn't an issue, <laughs> then the, the central void wouldn't change. Look at that. It has an idea, it, it has a camera side. <laughs> <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> but, but let us take a look at yeah. our, our origin story here, which was the blue point oh, yeah. coming through the yellow square, blue which was yellow. here. Uh, blue, blue, and yellow. there it is, there's mine there. And there's mine there, it's that Okay, person. let me orientate to match yep. that. And look at that, we have that and that. Wait, yep. I think, yes. 
Yeah, there's the blue. Yeah. Brr. Wow. That's so good. The... I mean, if I'm, what is really fascinating to me is evolutionarily why there's an endorphin rush <laughs> I, from I, understanding this yeah. in here, mm -hmm. right? Like all of this is in aid of both communicating it visually to the audience, but also internally. Oh yeah, yeah, right? we'll like, be making it anyway, absolutely. I mean, I think as humans, we love finding and solving patterns mm -hmm. and I can see how that's a survival Right. Tool? Right. But now we can just do math. But this is particular this 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 kind of like a manifestation of the sensation of doing math where you can build it and see the patterns and it all is so pleasing. <laughs> For my ultra simple yeah, solution yeah. of just Chords, we'll sew them together. That was still like six full hours. You've added a lot of complexity. <laughs> you turned it into a puzzle. You tend to build into a puzzle. Um, I Pleasing, though. I really is pleasing, and it's really fun to build, and I kind of want to think up other ways to either maybe 3D print pieces so that you could almost screw this together. Oh, like the hubs. Like mm -hmm. each vertex is a... Right. Yeah, that would yeah. be really fun. Um, I, I, I did purchase recently 50 wooden balls. And I had been thinking about ways to drill them for these vertices because oh, so the angles are knowable, right? It's all pretty yeah, straightforward. Yeah, yeah. And everything just kind of slots. So in you just then. do one, two, three, and then as yeah. long as you're correctly oriented on the four, five, six, which is I, perhaps non-trivial. Well, one thing you can see now we'll put this together is if you already had the dodecahedron, the makes working out where these go a lot more straightforward. Yes. So if yeah. you pick one of them, like if we look at this orange one. Where you see where it starts and where it ends up, you go down an edge. Right, it's always the. And it, then you skip across either left or right. right so mine, right. I always go down an edge and skip to the left. And yours, you go down an edge and then skip to the right. So that's the different chiral. The, the choice yeah, yeah. is see so this blue one here. Yeah. You come down here and then there's two that are directly opposite. Yeah. And yours goes to the right. And mine does the same thing but goes to the left Amazing. each time. And if you already had this, that's all you have to do. Right. Is follow right. the edge and skip and consistently then it one really way. Simple. Yeah, and then you just continue that yeah. and it all fills in. Look at that though. That is really a delightful object. And I'm glad it's like in thinking through not making it delicate, I'm glad we went this way. Yeah. Yeah. It's very tactile. Dude. My brain thanks you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See you guys next time.